Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, live, subscribe, and share, and all of that good stuff. So I've been a fan of Max Emerson for a long time. I followed him on Instagram, and I even have a picture of us together. Check it out. He's actually very tall in person. Yeah, he, a long time ago, well, I don't know how long time ago, he started a Kickstarter to make a movie, and he actually did it. He pulled it off, which is great. I think you should always go for your dreams, and I think he's goes to show that he's just more than a pretty face, he's very talented, he's a writer, he has a book out, he does a lot of things, and he's an advocate for safe sex, and key member in the LGBT community, so I want to support people like him, who are examples to young people to go for your dreams, fight for them, make it happen, you know, they're just not going to fall in your laps. I think we live in a world in which people feel like they're entitled to certain things and they want things just to happen and to fall on their lap without doing all the legwork and he's a very hardworking guy also very handsome and so is his boyfriend and today I'm gonna react to the movie Hooked so I'm gonna start watching it I saw the trailer a long time ago so I don't actually remember what I saw but I knew from the moment he was doing this project that I was gonna end up watching it so that moment has come so it hasn't even been like five minutes and I'm already hooked. <laughs> I guess that's why it's titled Hook. And there's a lot of eye candy here. <laughs> but it's something very scary that now it's very common to go on dating apps and like hook up with random people but you don't know like who that person is so I feel like it's something to be very careful with and like I think this guy here is homeless and he's obviously hooking up with somebody and he just got punched and I'm not gonna tell you what happens but just be careful when you're going on hookup dates. <laughs> it could be dangerous. The main character has such a nice body. I regret eating all those hamburgers and donuts and all that alcohol I drink. Which is another thing that I admire about him. He completely stopped drinking and he set himself deadlines to, to certain things that he wanted to do or accomplish. I think that's very admirable. I wish I could do the same. I should do the same because I don't have that body that the main character has. I'm a little bit upset right now. So I'm going to continue watching. Everything's great so far. The act is good. The storyline is good. Just the grandma. There's just something about her that I don't know if she's just not a good actress, but I just... <laughs> I'm sorry, Max. I don't like the grandma. But I'm loving the movie. <laughs> the subject of fetish <laughs> has been touched with this movie. <laughs> God, I love it. I wish I could pull off that diaper <laughs> the way he does. Oh my God, that gorgeous. The movie has really beautiful shots. Like it's very well done artistically, you know, with the artistic guy that I have, of course. There's some really beautiful shots in this movie. I'm pleasantly surprised, Max. You did a good job for being your first film. I think it's very well done. The acting's really good, except the grandma's. I don't think her acting was that great. And when the guy goes in there for the last time, he has that that phrase, tap jazzing, tap jazz something cries. It seemed a little forced in that lasting. I think, I don't think that reaction felt real to me. But I think there's a lot of good messages in this film. I identified my soul with different parts of the movie at different times of my life. It's a movie that touches on issues that are important for the LGBT community. And some of the facts that the movie has at the end is that the LGBT teens are it eight times more likely to be homeless and those same kids are twice as more likely to be sexually abused and develop severe drug addictions or what's even worse commit suicide i think it's uh great to bring awareness to issues like this that are very important in today's society and you can go over to the hookedproject.com to get more information donate volunteer and things like that i think it's a great cause behind this movie max if i were wearing a hat i'd tip it your honor so it's I I recommend this movie. You know, it's on I rented it off of iTunes, it's just four ninety nine. I think you should do the same. It's a really good movie. It's not predictable because it once I thought it was going one way, it would go a different way. I was hooked. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think it's important to, you know, support projects that are LGBT themed, especially because it's this, a community that's unrepresented in a lot of ways and there's still a lot of more advocating and fighting that we all need to do because we're all at the end of the day humans and we bleed the same color and I don't think our sexuality makes us any less of a human being. I think we all need to accept and love all the same. 
it's kind of like your fingers and your hands. They're all different, but you love each one of them, right? <laughs> you don't want to take this one away just because he's short and skinny, or this one because he's fat. You want them all and you love them all the same, and as a humanity, and as a human race, we should love each other the same because we're all part of this world and we're all important. And we all should be valued the same way you value each and one of your very five different fingers you have on each hand. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to link uh, the trailer to the movie here at the end so you can watch it and see what this movie is about and hopefully you'll run over to iTunes and rent it or buy it and watch it. Until next time, adios y bye.